Hello everyone, it is Tuesday today which means it's just about time to do some building. And today, we will make a custom clothing shop. Why the custom part you ask? Well that has to do with the shop windows which are completely custom made and I'm very happy with how they turned out. So without further ado, let's start building. As always we will begin with the floor layout. I'll try to snap it to the French Bistro, but for that to work I must first take out one of the walls. With the floor in place I can put down some unpainted barn walls. I'm using these walls for a reason, which will be clear in a bit. Now that the main walls are placed, I can start on building the second floor. For this I will use a variety of wooden upper floor pieces. It is getting quite dark in here, so I will place some light so I can actually see what I'm building. Let's start on the front of the building. First I'll place a doorway, it comes with the Snappy's house kit mold. Time to build the custom windows. First I will place a sheet of glass on both sides. I will place some supports for the corners of the windows. I will also place a couple in the middle and move them around until they are in the right place. Besides the vertical columns, I will also place some horizontal columns to split the windows in sections. The windows are still really big, so let's place a wooden railing to make them a bit smaller. I use the railing and not a half wall, because half walls are too high and covers up too much of the window. I will also move this railing up a bit, until the white plank touches the upper floor. I will also place the same railing on the bottom floor. Now I can use the place anywhere tool to finish up the windows. The windows are done, so let's start on the interior of the store. First, I will place a variety of dressers and shelves. And it wouldn't be a store without mannequins, so I will place 4 of them. Oh, 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 
I want this door to be functional, so I will place a counter which Defender will stand behind. Time to add the finer details. First I'll place some curtains for the fitting rooms. Then I will add some fashion related posters. I've already placed them on an older building right now, so I wouldn't have to search them up again. Next up I will place some Fallon signs. Let's continue building on the second floor. First I will place some more wooden barn walls. Then I will place some windows that come with the Woody's Wasteland mod. They don't snap very well with the barn wall, so I will use the Place Anywhere tool to move them up a bit. To close the gap I will place some more wooden railings. The front looks kinda dull, so I will place some metal awnings for extra detail. Just below the metal awnings I will place some lights to highlight the mannequins. Time to place the roof. First I'll place a layer of shack roofs and then a layer of roofs that come with the Snappy's house kit mold. Let's play some final details. First I'll add some shutters to the windows on the second floor. I will also place some stools inside the fitting rooms. On top of the counter I will place a cash register. And behind the counter I will place a merchant rug. And as a final detail, I will dress up the mannequins in some nice fitting clothing.
And there we have it, our very own custom clothing shop. If you enjoyed this video then leave a like down below, don't forget to subscribe for more and hit that little bell so you won't miss out on anything. And if you have any suggestions of what I should build next, then please let me know. My name is Tuesday and I will see you next time.